To begin, I added a clip to my timeline that I'd like to use to put text behind this man. Let's start by selecting our clip on our timeline and pressing the Ctrl D keyboard shortcut to duplicate it. Then double click it to open up a panel for that layer. Go up to the toolbar and select the Roto Brush tool. This tool works just like the quick selection tool in Photoshop, so just draw an outline to select your object. To remove parts of the selection, hold down the Alt key while using the tool. Once you're finished, select the Toggle Alpha button to see your selection against a black background. Now we can further refine our selection by doing things like increasing the feather property to make our edges smoother. You can also shift the edge in or out a little bit to get slightly more or less of your selection. It's also a good idea to check Use Motion Blur so that our rotor brush can detect that. Now we just have our selection mask lasting a single frame. To get it to last for the whole clip, drag the end of this gray area all the way to the end so that our mask lasts for the duration of our clip. Click the Freeze button to render our selection so After Effects can trace its movement. Now that it's done rendering, we're ready to add our text by going to Layer, New, Text. On the timeline, drag your text layer under your selection layer. Okay, and there we have our text behind our object. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this useful.